Well, hello, welcome back to Color on Canvas. Uh, today I'm going to be doing a Dutch pour, which you've seen me do before, but a little different today. Different because of the ingredients that we're using. I have a 10 by 20 canvas. And see all the pretty colors? So many pretty colors. All of these are the new toys that I'm playing with today. Um, except for this one. Well, that's new too. But these colors, these are primary colors from Amsterdam series. And I just got a set. Um, primary cyan, primary yellow, primary magenta. I haven't even tried to mix colors with them yet because I literally just opened the box. I just opened the box. The box. So I'm very excited to use these because it is my understanding that they are the best paints and I've been trying blooms and other things with them this morning and I'm excited to try a Dutch pour as well. So that's what I have in these little cups. Uh, you can see the paint is extremely thin. The magenta is very thin. I put just a tiny bit of Floetrol in there and mostly water. Um, and so those are fine. And the other thing I'm playing with this morning is uh, DecoArt Americana Metallics in uh, Vintage Brass. It's a really, really beautiful, rich color. And again, that one too, I've mixed with a little bit of Floetrol and some water. Get it to a pretty thin consistency. And these are the colors that I'm going to use in our Dutch pour today. And our base coat is my Artist Loft White Flow Acrylic. Just the usual uh, huge bottle that I have mixed up. Uh, mixed with uh, Floetrol water and a little bit of glue and extra water to thin it down to use for a base coat. So that's what I'm going to use. I want to see how these primary colors mix together. I'm very curious to see what happens. And uh, let's just put them down, blow them out, and uh, you know, let's have some fun. Here we go. Dutch pours are not my usual thing. I have to be honest about that. It's not something that I do a lot, and if I do, it's usually a circular one. So I'm really kind of out of my comfort zone on this one. But you know what? You have to be. You have to try new things. And that's what I'm doing right now. make sure we get enough paint down but I'm hesitant to pour it out of the cup just because I'm not used to it and I'm still learning the consistency this is really the first pour I've done with it I tried a little bloom with just the white as cell activator earlier and it was absolutely brilliant so I'm looking forward to experimenting with that as well but for right now I just want to see what happens with this consistency that I've made. These are just mixed with water and a tiny bit of Floetrol, so I want to see if I'm doing a good job. And I always film when I'm doing this. Always. Because that's how you learn. Put down some of this... Uh... Ooh, see, that's different. That's a whole different consistency. You can see that. Wow. Definitely have to put more of these colors down. You know what? Let's just let's just go crazy. Let's just pour. Wee. I think I'm gonna need more blue. Yeah, more blue. Okay. 
Okay. I think I'm happy with what we have down there. I might put a bit of this Amsterdam white as opposed to the Artist Loft Flow Acrylic that I have as the base. But I will use the uh, Artist Loft for the extra blow over color. I'll just pour it down gently here, just a little. Okay. Whew. Let's see what we can do. not so good right there but I really like it other than that so uh, Rinska Downa would not tolerate that she would scrape it off and pour some white and that's exactly what we're gonna do right now and take care of that little blotch scrape it off Scrape off the rest of it, and we can mouth blow a little bit of that edge too after it's done. Let's get that covered up. I really like the way this turned out. Look at all those cells, look at all that action. Fantastic. I think I might leave it just like that. It really needs to go a bit more. I'm gonna get a straw. I'll do better with a straw. Much nicer. Really unusual, not uh, not what I normally do, but I like it. It's almost like a butterfly right here. You can see the butterfly body right there. That is amazing. I like it. Let's give it a little torch. Let's move it back where you can see it first, and then we'll give it a little torch. debating if I need to just do a little something there and I think I have to. I think I need to pull this together. Just put a little line right in there. I just needed that connection. Don't ask me why. I just did. I saw something there. Anyways, I love it. I Yeah, I'm very, very happy with this. I hope it dries really, really nicely and brightly. But those colors, look at that. You saw we used primary blue or cyan, magenta, and yellow. And we have every color in the rainbow represented just by putting those in. So the power. Imagine if we mixed those colors, which I will be mixing custom colors from those, but let me turn it that way so you can appreciate it. I think it looks so much better like that.
Yeah. Good. Just making sure you guys can see it. Anyways, I love it. I'm very happy with it. I hope you are too. And uh, there we go. Our first, uh, our first pour with our Amsterdam paints. Fantastic. I uh, look forward to using them again. And thank you for watching. Thanks for joining us. And I hope you go and uh, experiment and play around with some paints and paint something beautiful for yourself too. All right. Have a great day. Bye-bye.